how difficult is it to keep a team motivated as a captain? And you, 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 you look at a guy like Virat and you say he's a high performing captain. He does really well. He's got high standards from everyone in the field and while batting, etc., etc. You get a team that's just not getting the results. How difficult is it uh, as a leader to then motivate yourself, motivate the others? Just turn things around. No, it's, it's not. It's not easy. You know, I think uh, the art of sport is and that feeling of winning. You know, that's yeah. what you, you all play for. You play for your own personal contributions, but that attributes towards the, the winning of the team. I always say to any captain that's going to lead any team, the most important aspect for me is knowing who you're leading. You know, you've got to go out your way to find out who the individuals are. Hmm. You know, it's easy to stand up and, and kind of talk to a team and say, we're doing this, we're doing that, but you actually need to know exactly who X is in the corner and what makes him motivated. What gets Moen Ali up in the morning to get him up for a game of cricket. Mm. So you have to go and find out if you think you've got to spend time with these people. You know, I always say the art of leading people is finding out the people that you're leading first. And once you've got that kind of uh, mentality of working out who these people are that you're leading, because no one's the same, we're three here, we're mm. all completely different people. Mm. You know, so it takes time to understand who the people are that you're going to lead. And once you've got that and you've got the information and you know how uh, someone is motivated or you know what triggers them into some kind of action, you know, you have to spend a bit of time to understand what that motivation is for that individual player and what makes them tick. Is it the money side of the game? Is it stats of the game? Is it just the love of the game? Because there'll be loads of different people that go, oh, I just play because I love it. There'll mm -hmm. be some that go, you know what, I play because I want the money. Yeah. I, I have no problem with that. Yeah. But I need to know as a leader what motivates them. Because mm -hmm. when the pressure's on, or what makes them relax, what makes them tick, because again, if you're at the end of the, the ball the mark as a bowler, mm -hmm. I need to know what triggers Simon Doolin to just get into the zone. I need to know it as a captain. Mm -hmm. I, won't have, I might not have to say anything, but I need to know. So I need conversation yeah. with my bowlers to know exactly what makes them tick. And once you know everyone in your team and the management, it's a lot easier to manage those people and the, the team generally looks after itself. I always think people get into a little bit of difficulties when they start managing the whole group as one because I ain't mm. been in a group of 15, 20 and, and seen 15, 20 people exactly the same. That's yeah. impossible. And yeah, it's that's... a common misconception that, that everyone in the team likes each other or gets on, you know, mm. like they all go out together, they all love each other. It's just, it doesn't happen. In no. No, no team you ever play in, whether it be a, a cricket team, a football team, a kabaddi team, whatever it is. Mm -hmm. If you're on tour, there'll be a few guys that will go to dinner with, with each other and there'll be another few that go and do something else. But you don't ever have to like everyone you play with. Yeah. But you've got to respect their ability to do what they do mm -hmm. in your team and respect that they will get the job done and they'll be there for the team as a as a whole. I mean, you know, there's, there's hardly anyone that I, you know, I've got three or four close friends from the game mm, that I played in it. teams. I, the rest I, I, I never see. No. Mm. I have a huge amount of respect and if I had a phone yeah. call to say X needs, I'd do anything for mm. them. Yeah. Absolutely anything, but I'm not with them. I, I don't ring them up. I don't text them. Yeah. You yeah. know, but. You catch up at a past player's yeah, golf go, day or, a, <laughs> yeah, or, you know, or an England cricket golf day yeah, for think, old blokes. So I think people you know, outside of the team on sport yeah. think that because you've played together, you're all dead friendly, you know, you're best yeah. mates. You invite them all around for mm. your family barbecues. That doesn't happen. Yeah. Who was who was the captain for you who did that the best in your playing days? Uh, Stephen Fleming. Yeah. yeah, he was he was very good. But it all, all coincided with um, with the management group as well. As as Vaughan was saying, I think you know we got Steve Rickson. We had a, a, a guy who used to play for the All Blacks and captain the All Blacks called John Graham, mm. who was our manager, who was unbelievably good. And then Stephen Fleming, and it all just sort of Gilbert Anoka, who's now with the All Blacks. For those who don't know, the All Blacks are the rugby team, the national rugby team. team in New Zealand. <laughs> so Gilbert was our um, mental skills guy. Um, and it all just coincided together with, with that. And Stephen, I mean, Michael, I know, he was, he's a very calm captain. He was, yep. um, he knew his game, he knew what was what he had around him, he knew how to get the best out of the guys. He, 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 and we had some difficult characters, you know, I mean, the likes of Chris Cairns and Adam Perori and Dion Nash, I mean, that, there's some interesting characters in amongst that lot there. <laughs> but every and team has them. Yeah, exactly. Every you just, team you just has got to find a way. And yeah. That's why Flem's a, a pretty good businessman and, and that's why he's got a job here in the, in the IPL as a coach because he's yeah, just that's why he's really level headed. The, the, the thing about Chris, yeah. so for instance in a test match build up on the Tuesday, we the dead similar that was team day. Yeah. We had to listen to the coach, they could tell us anything. So if they said, So you're right, you're running three miles, we have to run three miles because mm. it was coach's day. On the Wednesday, it was completely down to the player. Mm. You know, I'd always say someone like Freddie Flintoff, I I'd say, Fred, if you don't want to train, don't train. Mm. There's no there's no onus on you to come to the training session. Yeah. If you don't want to. If you feel that you need to hit some balls, bowl some balls, of course we'd like to see you there. But if you're gonna be there, you know, as all the other players, you've got to be committed to your training. Mm. And if it takes ten minutes to get your mind and go, right, I'm ready for Thursday, get off, go home. Yeah. <laughs> go and do some shopping, go to the cinema, I don't want to see you. You know, and I think sometimes players get forced into training and mm. 
being at the nets, being on the train, just to look good. It, it's, it's purely down to, the, you've got to remember cricket is an individual sport surrounded yes. by a team environment. Yeah. It's only you that can bowl the ball, only you can catch the ball and only you that can face that delivery. But we put this collective and sometimes I do think the collective overpowers actually what is the game, which is individually getting your own yeah. game in order, your yeah. own mind in order and the coaches and the team around it understanding who you are. I, I laugh at the, at the 2020 World Cups when I see the, the so-called second tier nations, yeah. they warm up for longer than a 2020 game starts, <laughs> wow. get, you know, I mean that's the worst thing, get out there for an hour and a half trying to, trying to make everybody think, oh we're here, we're here to play. Hey, at 2020, go out there 15 minutes before the toss, have a little run around, kick a football, do what you like, as soon as you know what you're doing, batting or bowling, get yourself into gear I, for I'm, a 2020. I'm exactly the same, as soon as I see that I think you've not done enough on your training days. Exactly, <laughs> yeah, you don't well need enough. to do and that it's the before same a game. It's like the guy studying just yeah, before the exam, it's like right? Football, right? Football management, yeah. you'll see football managers on the side, first minute of the game, they're ranting and raving, I'm going, <laughs> What have you just said in the dressing room? <laughs> You're only one minute in. At least give them five yeah. minutes to play the way that you've just told them, I'm sure, in the dressing room. <laughs> yeah. Don't give any of this. Relax, let them play. Loving it.